working on 6.6 .6 today, okay? So we're still talking about finding sides and angles. All right, but we're gonna do a warm up, okay? From something that you guys probably learned a long time ago, but it's gonna relate to something that we're gonna learn that's new today. All right, so. We're gonna talk about averages today. Okay, averaging is something you need to understand for real life. All right, mathematically we call it the mean. Okay, that just means the average. All right, so if you're gonna average something, there has to be something to average. Okay, so let's say that we're talking about test scores here. All right, so let's say that you got a 75, you got a 83, you got a 90, and then you got, let's say, 81. All right, so let's say you had four tests in a class, which that usually happens. Like in, in our class, we have four tests every semester. Okay, so if you're trying to find your test average, all right, because remember, the test is like, tests are like one category of your grades. So if you're trying to find the average of something, it's real simple, okay? You add up all the numbers, and you divide by how many there are. Okay, so literally add them all up. There's four of them, four test scores. Okay, and that's going to tell us what our average score was per test. Okay, so when we do that, we get 329. All right, and when we divide that by four, we get about, well, actually, no, it's equal to, 82.25 okay so that means that our average test score for that semester those four tests whatever you're talking about here would be 82.25 so if you were trying to like boost your score for the class you would have to score higher than the average to bring your average up okay so like if you wanted to know oh shoot what what do i need to get on the next test so that way my grade doesn't go down okay well you need to get at least whatever the average is Okay, if you get the average, your grade is going to stay exactly the same. You get a little bit better, your grade will go up. A little bit worse, your grade will go down. Okay, so we're going to compare that. What we're going to compare that to that average, that idea of adding them all up and dividing by how many there are, okay? You guys are going to be needing, at some point, it might be necessary when we're, so when we're finding these missing sides and angles, okay? to find the midpoint of a certain side, right, or a certain line segment. Okay, so I'm gonna just give you, again, no graph or anything, I'm just gonna make up points. Okay, let's say this is two comma five, and we'll say this one is, let's see, it's over to the right, so we'll say this one is six comma one. Okay, so, if you, if you think about it, the middle, the midpoint, right, is like right in the middle of the line. Okay, so what that is, what that, that midpoint is basically, it's the average of the two points. Or you could think about it as the average of the end points. Okay, so that's why we were talking, so I want to talk about averages and, you know, just adding up numbers and dividing by how many there are, okay? If you think about this, these endpoints, right, there's two of them, okay, one, two. So we basically need to add the points together and then divide by two, and that would get us, like, the average, right, right in the middle. Okay, so the way that we're going to add them up, though, is we need to add them up a special way, okay? It's got to be X plus X. Okay, and then we have to do y plus y. Okay, and don't forget, we've got to divide them by 2. Okay, so the midpoint, if you wanted to find the middle of this line, remember, because there's no graph, okay, it's going to be a point, so there's going to be an x and a y. Okay, the x is going to be the average of the two x's. So 2 plus 6 divided by 2, because there's two of them. Okay, and then the y coordinate of the midpoint is going to be the average of the y's. Okay, so we add the two y's up, 5 plus 1, and we're going to divide that by 2. Okay, and whatever we get here, okay, that's going to be the midpoint 
of that line segment. And we don't even need the lines on the graph to find it. We just need to remember what averaging means. Okay, 2 plus 6 over here would be 8. Divided by 2 would give us 4. And then 5 plus 1 over here would be 6. Divided by 2 would give us 3. So that means that the midpoint of that line segment would be 4, comma 3. Okay, so finding the midpoint of a line segment is really the same as just averaging the two endpoints. We just have to remember that averaging means you add them up and divide by how many there are. Okay, so x plus x divided by 2, y plus y divided by 2, and that's your x and y. Okay, the last example I want to do, I want to go back to what we talked about with those proportions. Okay, so again, when we see these parallel lines here, Okay, we know that we have some similar triangles. Okay, that one and that one, those are similar. Okay, all their angles are the same, which we don't really care about here because we're talking about sides. But all their sides are proportional, okay? And this one's weird because what we're looking for here, it's like a portion of a side. Okay, so... These ones are a little bit different, but I just want to make sure I remind you guys, okay, how we do these. And again, if we, when we were in person, okay, we do it, we do a lot more practice with this, and we're going to start doing more practice actually the next few days. We're going to do a lot of examples coming up, okay. But I want to make sure you understand how we are writing these proportions, where they're coming from, okay. So we got to match up the sides. So there's a couple ways we can do it. I like to do left top left over bottom left equals top right over bottom right. Okay, that's just one way you can do it. Another way, I'll just show you one other way, would be like we could do top left over, whoops, over top right, 5 over x equals 9 over 23. Okay, there's a few different ways we could do it. All right, but I'm going to go with my way over here. And remember, we cross multiply. Okay, this one's not so easy to see just by looking like. So we got to cross multiply. 9x is going to be equal to... 115. All right, then we divide by 9, divide by 9, and x would be, so in this case, okay, I just made up these numbers, so it's weird. It's 12 point, and then there's sevens with an with 8 at the end. Okay, so let's just round to one decimal for now. Okay, so this would come out to about 12.8, and it wouldn't be equal to, it would be approximately equal to. Remember, because whenever we round it, that's what those little the squiggly equal sign means, about equal to. Okay, so this side right here, and again, my drawing, it doesn't look like it. I did that on purpose, okay? We don't care what they look like anymore. We just, we remember our rules. Okay, matching side over matching side equals matching side over matching side. And now with that, okay, you should be able to do the 6.6 .6 practice quiz, all right? And when we meet on Thursday, okay, we're going to do some examples with big old diagrams where we put all this stuff together, okay, and we start trying to find missing sides and angles. So all this stuff we've been doing, okay, all these things, these little different little examples we've been doing to find little missing lengths, okay, we're going to have big old diagrams now where you'll see how we kind of apply everything all at once.